Okay, it was on spring break. It was in the morning. They were on their way to Florida. Out of the blue, the uh, this guy that my mom was with hit the back of a semi. My sister's It broke my sister, my mom's teeth, my sister's collarbone, and her knee. I have my hat. And I hurt my head. Mm -hmm. okay. How long were you in the coma? Six months. Six months. And the doctor said it would take an act of God for me to recover at all. I would be nothing but a body in a bed. Um, things are a lot different. Um, we've definitely had to learn like patience and um, being strong for one another and stuff like that. Well, it's, it's always on the back of my mind and it, it's always really sad, but I feel like I forcefully have to be strong for him because I'm more, than a, I'm more of a pessimist than he is. So since he's strong, I know that I have to be strong and if he's confident, that I'm gonna be confident too, so. I want everyone to have a I won't show him to my own. And one day out of the blue, he woke up and smiled at his mom. And I met him on that side of the brain to me. And the doctor said that's a sign of the brain functioning. He is there. And his mom smiled and cheered. And my sister cried. And my sister cried. Tears of joy, of course. Tears of joy, of course. Well, he has been in therapy for probably two years, probably. And um, I mean, he's wonderful. As of now, it's just like motor skills, not more or less like here, because this is great. And I think that people don't really realize that now, but it's definitely just like trying to walk and um, get people to understand him, because he knows what he's Whenever he's happy, it makes me happy, so it's definitely made me learn how to um, cherish things and to live in the moment, to not hold grudges and always like love him unconditionally no matter what. 